Perhaps the most beloved era uh, in Red Sox history than the Canigliaro family. So we're really grateful uh, to Richie and Billy who are here today representing the Canigliaro family. I'm going to ask them to come up here in a minute to say a few words. Uh, but I, I do have to thank uh, Pam Ken from the Red Sox, Sarah Coffin, and, and Gordon Needs, all of whom have worked tirelessly to make sure that we have the opportunity to permanently and appropriately recognize Tony Canigliaro for his incredible contributions and what he's meant to our history and that great 1967 team. You know, as I think about our current uh, team, the current makeup of the 2017 Boston Red Sox, you have to think about the great young players, whether it's Rafael Devers, or Andrew Benintendi, or Mookie Betts, or Jackie Bradley Jr., Xander Bogart, the list goes on and on. But Tony Canigliaro, he set the gold standard in terms of young players coming into the major league level, having an impact uh, at 19 years old. It's remarkable to think about the impact that Tony C had. Uh, and if you talk to anyone who was around during that time period, uh, and if you know your Red Sox history, you know that the 1967 team, as my dad says, was the team that changed it all. That's when Red Sox Nation really began, and this fan base, 14 million people in New England, really got behind this team. Thanks to Tony C, Yaz, and all the guys who you saw here just the other night. So we are really proud uh, to, to recognize Tony in this way and to permanently honor his memory. Uh, he's an unbelievable player. I mentioned having an impact in the big leagues at such a young age. First, uh, youngest, I should say, American League player in history to get to 100 home runs. And having an impact uh, at the teenage level is, is just incredible. Uh, and you strive to find players like that. And, Finally, before I introduce these guys to come up, I would just say as, as a local kid, uh, I grew up a mile from this ballpark, to think uh, what it would be like to be standing in that batter's box, your first at bat, and to knock a ball right into the screen. Uh, those are the things that legends are made of. The first pitch uh, he ever saw at Fenway Park to knock it over the Green Monster uh, is, is remarkable. And for those of us who grew up here in Boston, um, he achieved the unthinkable. So it's really a privilege to be here today with the Canigliaro family. And I'd like uh, Richie and, and Billy uh, to come on up and, and say a few words and then we'll uh, unveil uh, our dedication to, uh, to Tony. So come on up guys and uh, welcome. Pleasure to be here tonight. Who would think 50 years later they're honoring my brother Tony Singh? It's amazing. He's, uh, he was my hero. And, uh, it's so great as the Red Sox fam, Tim Kennedy, all the owners doing this in memory of my brother Tony. It's fantastic. I don't think anywhere in the major league this has been done. It's just fantastic. They take care of their own, and uh, we just want to thank them. Thank all you guys. And, uh, my brother was my hero, like I said. Hero to many people I meet mean, today around the, around the country. They all say Tony was my hero when I was growing up. And, uh, that's I remember him being the best young player to ever come up recently in the Boston Red Sox system. And we're very proud of him. Thank you guys. Uh, my brother Billy's very humble, you know what I mean? He has a world championship ring with the Oakland A's and was an unbelievable player himself. Right? Yes. Yes. And I had two heroes. When I was a senior in high school, the starting outfield for the Red Sox was Yaz in left, Billy in center, and Tony in right. So I mean, it was just unbelievable to have two brothers like this. But as far as the 67 team went, I came to the games when I was real young. Before 67, if there were maybe a uh, thousand people on the park, 
to be a lot. After that 67 season, as Sam said, I think it turned everything around here, you know, now as you can see what's going on, you know, and I was there growing up with them, and just to have anything mentioned, Tony, wherever he is, I hope he knows what's going on, because I don't think he'd believe he'd be, be on it like this. The Red Sox are an unbelievable organization. Don't forget their players of the past. They always remember what they've done for everybody. And including my brother Billy, my brother Tony. I'm so proud and I'm so uh, amazed that the Red Sox have done this for Tony. Thank you very much. Yep. Pull out for each other. Yep. Watch the tag, give a count.